You've probably heard the term critical materials in the news a lot lately. That's because critical materials are in technologies that you rely on every day. And this is the important part. Their demand is expected to skyrocket in years to come. Think of critical materials as the building blocks of clean energy technology. From wind turbines to solar panels, electric vehicle batteries, and even smartphones, critical materials are the key ingredients in all of these innovations, and more. You might be thinking, hang on, what actually are these materials, and what's so critical about them? Great question. To answer it, the U.S. Department of Energy published a list of 18 materials that are critical for clean energy. They're critical because of the risk for supply chain disruptions due to any number of reasons, from political, regulatory, and social factors to basic availability. It could mean that our nation's supply doesn't catch up with that skyrocketing demand I just mentioned. At the Department of Energy, we're researching new ways to source critical materials, alternative materials that can serve as substitutes, and new recycling and reuse processes to get the most out of these materials. If we identify right now which materials may become scarce later, we can keep our supply chains and manufacturing sector secure and running smoothly. How can we do this? Through collaboration. We need to work together to ensure that critical materials supply chains are reliable, resilient, affordable, equitable, sustainable, and secure. So, there you have it. Critical materials are the foundation of our clean energy revolution, creating quality jobs and a greener world for all of us.